guys going on? It's DJ Rodman Bros. Jeremy and Bears. Hola. What's good? <laughs> you're st- I couldn't do that. I didn't even realize you're standing. Oh, what? what? I thought you're, I thought you're looking at mic. me. I know, but I thought you're just fixing no. the mic. I didn't think that you're actually going to You know we're going to be stand. doing this for about it's 40 minutes. It's cold in here. Okay, let me, let me do it again. Love that. He's standing, Bears. Like, just like. I need to. <laughs> I need to heat okay. my body up. He's cast, cast, he's cast to stand. I cast to. <laughs> hey, guys, going on? It's DJ Rodman Bros. Jeremy and Bears. Hola. What's good? Bring you our first Justice Clubhouse podcast. This is going to be the culmination of this week's DC TV Yay. shows. Supergirl, Flash, Legends, and Arrow. In that order. Can't wait to, to start talking about it. But we want to thank you guys for the support after we left that update video for you guys. As long as you guys are okay with, you know, the one big podcast during the week and then just having the speed shows, you know, the days after the show airs, then we're going to do it that way. But let's get into Supergirl. <laughs> that episode is called We Can Be Heroes. And you guys can go check the clip out. The speed show clip will be li- linked in the description below. I Everything will be in order. One sentence, you guys. Super friends divided. Damn. That one's good. That pretty much sims up the whole entire episode. I second Yeah, pretty that. much. So, getting right into the character interactions, Team Supergirl, they basically have two sub... Or no, actually, they have three subplots, I guess. Sure. Uh, there wasn't really a big, big story here. There's just three different stories. They had the Guardian being found out. They had McGann and John, and they had Manel trying to be a hero. Did you guys pretty much think that that's exactly what's going to happen when Jimmy told Kara the truth or when she found out? Yeah. There's no other way to go about that. He's, they're going to have a blowout, I guess. Yeah. Eventually. It's bound to happen. Do you guys agree with how she reacted? Mm. Hmm. No. She's, she's kind of being like strangely hypocritical. Yeah. I also see the other side where she doesn't want anyone to get hurt. I think- yes, I, I still kind of don't agree. With how she acted. I actually agree with both of you because she said something to Oliver during the crossover saying that you don't need to be super powered to be a superhero. Yeah. Coming from that side, what you said, like saying that she cares about him. Yeah, that's true. That's probably I think really she's the just only scared reason. that he might die. Well, he, he could because the, all the people that they've really fought are. Yeah. I don't know if they're above metas, but they're definitely heavy hitters. These people mm. can like drop, yeah. you know, spaceships on them. So that is true. I kind of get from her standpoint too manel is a hero how, how do you guys feel about his first stint you know getting out there those glasses though <laughs> what, what were they, they? that was cool as hell yeah, i but, always remember that guy yeah there's just like the only thing that bothered me i guess about the whole entire thing i, I love you know how they showed more utilizations of their powers but the fact that see, that's the thing they never use the super speed when they should yeah because i get that she's told him to stay back and you see him use it for like a second to like go save those cops but then you see her just getting absolutely owned by the copycat live wires yeah i didn't i didn't get that part but hopefully they kind of correct that later on story yes They have limited the flying, though. That's a good thing. No, that's true. And all I guess I can say is that I hope we see him in a suit soon. Yeah, I want that suit. It's going to look awesome, hopefully. Well, Wynn's making it, so. Livewire, did you guys see that coming at all? No, no, no. Mm, Not really, no. I I can't say I did. I was hoping for more of like a showdown between the two, but it's kind of interesting that they kind of instilled her as a nemesis so that she could come back because we haven't seen her since the first season. Yeah, and she was only in for those two episodes. Yes, with Silver Banshee. I hope she comes back. Oh, yes. She's awesome too. And then the freaking Frankenstein dude. How'd you guys like him? Does he have like a name or anything? Like what? I don't even. I don't think so. They just she just called him Frankenstein. What was this thing? Like he had like yellow lightning. It was strange. Yeah. Yeah. But there really wasn't like a big, big bad, kind of like a one-off dude, yeah. I guess. And she's left to come back whenever she wants to. What about the again and John part? You guys like that? Yeah, it was very deep. It was. Uh, at first, I found John was kind of an asshole. But once he finally got over it and realized how stupid he was being, <laughs> like the cuz drama thing. Yeah. It was, it was, it was pretty good. He's scary, dude. When he's mad, mm-hmm. he's absolutely frightening. But it, it's just, it's weird to me because we're just used to seeing John and McGann as like nephew and niece. But here it looks like they might be, well, obviously they still have to get to know each other and become friends. But you just see them as family, but here they're not. But it, it is cool I mean, that they- still they, could be. Yeah. They could write a little. It's cool that they kind of wrote their connection to grow in this episode. Yeah. And Ronel and Kara, he finally fessed up. About damn time, right? I like you. <laughs> Crickets. Yeah. Took a while. Yeah. Jesus. I like that. That scene, they have good chemistry. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like crazy overbearing. And I, he took it like a champ. He's like, I don't, I know you probably don't like me back. It's all cool, you know. High five. High five. Yeah. And that was an left. awkward high five. Yeah. 
they could definitely take a picture out of Alex and Maggie's book because that's how you do it. They didn't overdo the drama on their side of things. They're okay. Finally, a couple that's not like overly dramatic. Mm, They're yeah. just there figuring out what they need to do. And yeah. they even laughed about what happened during that day. And then we have Wynn, who's just in the middle of all this stuff going between Jimmy and Kara. Yeah. That's awkward. Just doesn't know. Wynn was just entirely awkward this episode. That's like <laughs> what he was there for. He just didn't know what to do. He's keeping secrets from everybody. I mean, he, he only got yelled at by Jean, really. Because yeah. Kara just kind of told him like to get out of the room while she was talking to Guardian. Mm-hmm. This is sort of the end of a friendship for now, at least. There's a rift. And I think that's where we end the episode, right? Am I missing anything else? What's her name? What? McGon? Yes. Talk to Jean about the White Martians. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Yeah. The, the White, White Martians, Martians are coming. coming. That was weird. <laughs> so that's the same on. damn time. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you guys get? Uh, Easter eggs? Anything? Hmm? Super friends were mentioned. Yes. Kara referred to her, Jimmy, and Wynn as that. that yeah. They should go back to doing that. But he's like, no, I want to be a hero. Live um, wire, didn't she call the doctor like Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah, and there is a Victor Frankenstein and Frankenstein in DC Comics. Uh, the title of the episode was inspired by David Bowie's Heroes. Nice. Hmm. And Manel referred to himself as the other Superman. And in the comics, he actually took up the mantle as Superman and Superboy in different story arcs. Sweet. I also don't know what the, the where the glasses were. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the glasses were supposed to signify something, but I can't. Maybe it's something that the Legion wore. I remember it from somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. I think. And he was wearing the, 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 the Jean outfit. Yeah. <laughs> the... What do you call that? Pullover sweater? Yes. Or like the... No, not a pullover sweater. Like the zip up? Yeah. Yeah. Fleece. There you go. Any other Easter eggs? No. 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 Did you get a preview, Bears? No. And the preview for next week, it's called The Martian Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> the book. Yeah. You, know, you guys know <laughs> the <laughs> reference? No. All right. So basically, the White Martians <laughs> are going to attack and... John feels like the best thing to do is to protect Pagan by bringing her to the DEO. And then they, and, don't oh, they oh, trap? She's already there. I don't yeah, get don't it. they trap that white Martian in the DEO? Yeah, but he disguises himself as McGann. Oh. And they're all shapeshifters, so like you can't tell who's yeah. who. If especially since she's a white Martian herself. Yeah. So it's kind of like. And that trailer I, reminded me of like the Alien. Yeah. Movie for sure. That's exactly what it is. I, I cannot wait for the Easter eggs and references on that episode. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot to uh, talk about with that. Yeah. What else happened in that episode? Manel and Jimmy were both missing, which I found odd. They, they weren't at all in the trailer. I think that's pretty much it for the next episode. It's, it's them trying to deal with that Martian. Yeah. Do you guys have any theories as to what's going to happen? don't think so the thing i want the most out of this show is for them to explore cadmus more because we're sort of getting to that halfway point already or more than halfway point yeah so hopefully they you know kind of resolve that whole jeremiah danvers thing and how he came back to life true true um they're about to have a lois and clark reunion because terry hatcher is actually going to be making her appearance on the show as a villain Ooh. Ooh. so maybe she's in cahoots with linda carter who we have yet Ooh. to find out who the heck she is or what she is then we got mitzel pitalik who has also been casted yeah and music meister is gonna start here so it's very soon all this stuff that's gonna happen with the flash and every everything is gonna be cool yeah for sure hopefully they get one more you guys think that they might like just fit in some form of a mini crossover before the season ends other than the musical yeah other than the musical yeah mm. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be nice. One theory I hope comes true for these shows is that if they introduce someone like Mitzer, M- Mitzer, Mr. Mitzel Pitalik, yeah, who essentially can bend reality, yeah, eventually down the line will merge these Earths because that happens in the comics where I think Earth One and in- or no, Earth Two and Three inhabitants have to go to Earth One because something just merges them together. That is crazy. It is crazy. And I'm not sure how we could fit that many people on Earth, but hopefully it happens. I'm down to see that. What other theories you guys got? Anything? Oh, and I guess we reiterate that Monel is the Prince of Daxam. You guys agree with that still? Yeah. yeah. And that those hooded figures are probably Daxamite women who want to take him back because they want to make more yeah. and take over the world. It's basically the plot of the first season of Supergirl. Yeah. 
Oh, man. You guys think we, we might see the Legion of Superheroes at some point? Or do you think... Because they kind of need Barry Allen for that stuff. Like, yeah. To make it more interesting. I want that to happen. If only. Anything else? Any other theories? Any any other things that you want to add about the episode that you want to get off your chest? Uh, Was it a solid mm, one? Yeah. Very solid. Oh, Jimmy. Yes. I feel like he might go off the deep end and... Bad guy? Yeah. Vigilante who kills? Like, you, you're talking about Cadmus. What if he... Tries to infiltrate and yeah. then they turn him into a... Yeah, what if he... Yeah, he gets caught and... A he's... minion? Yeah. Would you guys be down to see a reprogrammed Jimmy? Not not like the one in the first season. That one was just... We're talking about, like, all the skills he's got now, but this time to use against Supergirl. Because essentially, he's That'd wearing lead. Sick. So he can fight both Kara and Monel, especially. Yeah. I mean, we've already seen it with the Bizarro Supergirl mm -hmm. and Cyborg Superman. You know what I mean? Yeah. A hero is also a villain. You guys... like, they're different characters, but they're still portrayed by the same actor. So do you think Jimmy will go in, but... Jimmy won't come out. Somebody, somebody yeah. else will. Oh, yeah. I like that too. I like that. But first, before they get to that, I want them to tell us what the hell happened in Jeremiah. Yes. And then they can go ahead and move forward. Yeah. What about Lillian Luther? We haven't seen her in a while. What do you guys think she's doing? Oh, no. That is a fun question, and I have no answer for it. <laughs> and Lena, they're probably doing something at Cadmus. Sketch. Probably prefer preferring, preparing something. <laughs> they're preferring. <laughs> Overall, it, I mean, it was a filler episode, more to like, I guess, showcase Manel's abilities. You know, like at the, at the very beginning there, he did like that cool thing with the robots, and that was in yeah. the sizzle oh, or the yeah, superhero yeah, yeah. team up yeah. uh, commercial, which yeah. is kind of cool. And I guess we hope that he progresses and his relationship with Kara progresses, and they introduce a villain. That's really going to up the stakes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So that concludes this first part of the Justice Clubhouse podcast. You guys stay tuned and we'll hit you up with Flash. <laughs> so this week on The Flash, episode titled Dead or Alive. One sentence. Gypsy is awesome. Yes. I second that. I Vibe say, me, Gypsy. Damn it. I'll, I, ah, I was going to say that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that is the the main story here is that Gypsy came to take Harris or not Harris, yes Her, HR, HR yeah. back to Earth 19 because apparently it's illegal to travel between worlds after I think the attack of the blights. I think that's they, they keep referring to that. Yeah. There's uh, multiple blights? I think so. He just said like a world went to war went to war with their world and yeah. then he took all the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> basically and then cisco decides to stand up for him and decides to call her out to battle i declare trial by combat <laughs> how do you guys just feel about the whole entire plot with him stepping up and it was more of like a episode focused on him learning how to hone his abilities we need more like episodes it. like that right yeah it's about time i mean i know it's called the flash and all and barry's training wally over there yeah uh, but it, it is nice to see something different it, it's refreshing yeah it shows his progress as a hero and then he also adds the comedic yes to it oh I like he, it. he's so op but he doesn't even know how op he is yeah if you you if you use the powers just right like gypsy did mm -hmm. which was surprising to me because she's nothing like her comic book counterpart at all really she shares the same name but they don't have the same abilities what's her abilities in the comics illusion casting huh. and not right. that she, she's basically cisco times like a thousand right now well but she said that he's got a lot of power that her potential that yeah he doesn't even know i resonate on the same frequency or some weird yeah yeah how'd you guys like julian there he hasn't quite found his place yet i guess he can't help be malfoy he can't help it. Every time he walks around, he even got the Mal the Malfoy like uh, walk going on. The Malfoy strut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just doesn't know how to talk to people. Apparently. Yeah. Caitlin said. And we saw you. We saw you. The Flash people. You. We do Lego speed shows. You. You were doing some yeah, sort of Lego thing awesome, right there on that dude. show right there. <laughs> don't act like you don't watch our stuff. Give us a shout out, please. <laughs> but th yeah, that was pretty awesome. That and was, I like that was cool that they mentioned or Barry looked at the little figurine of himself and he's yeah. like, "Why am I a firefighter or something like that?" And the suit when it was first made, it was meant for firefighters. Ah, cool. So like I like how it kind of cool. like came full circle. Yeah, Barry kind of just took like the back end here. He was teaching Wally. So I guess we're going to go into like the West Allen household. Sure. Um, they're still keeping it out of secret from Joe. You know, Iris's death. We can all still agree that that's not a good idea. Yes. No good. No good. Something I don't know. Bad's going to come out of like, that. Like, I like Joe, but yeah. I don't want him to know. It would, like break him. So you think that they should continue to keep it a secret? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
I'd keep the secret from Joe. I don't know. And plus, you got Iris out here risking her life when she already knows what could happen to her in the future. It's like she's trying to speed up the process. And well, honestly, like I was, I was over it. I was ready to stop hating on her, <laughs> and then she goes and pulls this <laughs> woman. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Or the story that she was chasing didn't even seem worth it to me. I mean, he was like an arms dealer, but they didn't even put like a epic villain moniker. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Just like even a nod to some sort of like well-known DC comic villain. He was just the dude that was giving guns to people. The arms dealer. Yeah, that's it. That's, we didn't even hear what he said. She almost died because of it. He's <laughs> like, lady, you're not supposed to be here. Exactly. That's it. Jeremy and I were like doing the face palm. When she told Wally to go around the perimeter and then she just cuts the freaking lock to the door and then she goes yeah. in there and confronts the dude by herself and then she even Every time. walked You're to crazy. the door. <laughs> Come on, Iris. Come on. Every time they say that, hey, you should uh, go check the perimeter. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll be right here when you get back. No, never. Flash Riders, please. We do not want to bring the BTB segment back. If you guys don't know what the BTB segment is, you're going to have to find it in our older videos because uh, that was a pretty big, <laughs> a pretty big thing back in the day when we started these things. Yeah. But yeah, their story kind of like, I guess, was just in the background there. Then getting back to Cisco, didn't believe in himself and neither did HR. So he <laughs> went behind this. How'd you guys feel? Did you guys think that that was going to happen? Like he was going to ask Barry eventually to just handle it? Yeah. It seemed like it was going to go that way. And he got his ass handed to Barry. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Did. Yeah. She's good, man. She's smart. And then Cisco finally hones those abilities of his and kicks her ass. Yeah. With the help of Julian. Yes. Yeah, Julian's actually pretty smart. And yeah. and I mean, why didn't anyone think of that theory sooner that Barry just needed to get faster? <laughs> you need to become no. faster than Barry. Oh, you're not gonna Barry say that. needs to be faster. <laughs> Who knew? Barry's like, well, that makes sense, guys. I mean, I'm gonna argue with him there. <laughs> Well, I guess he's not wrong. But as for helping Cisco, he spotted the, the little thing that she does every time yes. she does her special move. So it kind of did help Cisco. Did you see that? She did the negative speed force. She was able to negate the speed force when Wally ran at her. Yeah. That is going to be a big thing. In the comics, Cisco or Vibe uh, yeah. is able to be, he's that strong where he can disrupt a speedster. So like they're I actually taking steps. That that's so cool. he can, Maybe that's how he stops Savitar. Oh man, he's gonna have to like that's, that's like crazy. A, so he could go along with the speed force or go against it. He doesn't even have to move fast. He literally just like, and he, you know he could become intangible too. Huh. Open up, boom too. He's very overpowered. It's just he needs to learn how to use those powers. Yeah. Same goes for Caitlyn too, but she hasn't been able to. Yeah. Or she should actually until you know they find a way for her to. Uh, they can't. I can't even. <laughs> can't even make a reason. To, she's, <laughs> she's just gonna go full bad if she can. She if just can't. Yeah. yeah. And then she makes good on her word and she lets them keep HR, but he can't come back, obviously. So I guess he's in there for the long run. Yeah. And she leaves, but she tells Cisco that she'll be back eventually. Yeah. You guys excited to see more Gypsy? You guys yes. Yes. To see more Gypsy? yes. Oh, no. I just got a theory in my what? head. Okay, I'll say it after. Sorry. Did I miss anything as far as those storylines go? That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. The end there with Barry and Wally. Yes. Barry finds out that Wally is the person to be. He's the to key. Help, yeah, to help save Iris. Because he's he's going to become faster. Yeah. I'm all for him becoming faster. I just want him to be smart about it. That's all he has is his speed. Speed, yeah. He doesn't know how to use it. Yeah, he doesn't know how to phase. He doesn't yeah. know how to, you know. Speed mirage. Fight properly. That too. But then again, he's got some time, I guess, to figure that all out. All before May. So this is all in real time. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Any Easter eggs? I uh, don't think so. I didn't catch any. The biggest ones were the Earth that they traveled to. They traveled oh, yeah. to Earth 2, two. And then they also traveled to Earth 38 and they showed up at Cat, Cat Co. Co. That's crazy. So there was a little that's Supergirl sick. crossover. Right I, I there. like how they do that. I wish they do more. Yeah, that's a. I think that should be a gag. Like, even if it's as short as that, like a couple seconds being on a different Earth, that'd be awesome. Dude, that would be so funny if like Cisco just like can't control his abilities and then like he's sleeping and he yeah. opens a portal and then he ends up on like the DEO. Yeah. Or something like that. This is just be a running gag with his powers. And I feel like that last Earth mm -hmm. is probably going to play a role in the future. I think that's Apocalypse. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's Apocalypse. Uh, do you know what Apocalypse is, Bears? Apocalypse? Yeah. Like the in, no, in DC. Home of the New Gods. Yes. 
the home of Dark and Side. New Genesis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So that would tie in Kara again. Yeah. So it's like teasing it because that's the only world that looks like that, like crazy, all messed up, volcanic looking. Cisco also mentioned Westworld, oh. Death Wish, and Spinal Tap. So all movie references. And he was getting a little turned on when what's her name was mentioning or quoting those movies. Gypsy. And then uh, finally a Harry Potter reference or a Harry Potter Easter egg. Did you guys catch it? Was it um, on? I should have, but I don't think I did. Vibe versus vibe. Yes, the when duel. They, they look power? like Harry Potter and Voldemort going at each other with the red and blue. Yeah. <laughs> And another Easter egg, I guess, like to round the whole entire fight up was that it took place throughout the multiverse. That's the first fight that we've seen, like, go through different worlds like that. Yeah, yeah. A multiple. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and Blight was mentioned again. Dude, sorry. Yeah. That is pretty crazy what um, Gypsy said about HR's novel being broadcasted through all the Earths. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is super meta, but what if one of those Earths, Greg Berlanti, is... The person that's that got the novel and is writing this or making this into a TV show. Oh, that's freaking meta. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I like that. Theory. I don't know. I just I put like that out there. I, I like that theory. That's right. It's pretty cool. Did you guys catch a preview? Ah, no. Yeah, there's like a guy that uh, has the touch of death. Yes. And apparently, Wally is not fast enough. And he gets a hold of Iris. Clive Yorkin. Yeah. And Wally really is learning everything from Barry, not being fast enough. He is a meta who can decompose anything, basically. That's crazy. Man, that episode is going to be freaking insane. Do you guys have any theories moving forward with this? Do you guys think that Wally is going to be the one that stops Avatar? No, nah, I think it's like a collective effort. I think it might be yeah, a collection. I think now that I'm thinking about it, I think Cisco is going to have a big part in it. That'd be sick if Gypsy came back too to help. That's what I was going to say. I think if he doesn't learn how to do the the things that she does. See that now this is <laughs> my theory on her. I think that the Savitar talking in tongue about the whole betrayal and all that stuff, it might not even be the people who we think i think that since they have gypsy as an ally now the person that's gonna betray them is hr betraying gypsy uh-huh and masking her up to be iris and then cisco losing her uh i mean yeah okay. it would make more of an impact if it was the west but like i yeah. feel like that's what they're gonna do yeah because he was up I, can, on, I think i can see that yeah because he, he was on the rooftop pointing a gun down how do we not know that he was pointing it at somebody else that we didn't see there yeah that's the thing where does that leave the west during that time are they just gonna do like the whole like that's what happens and then they're all like happy and whatnot and then savitar realizes that he they just played him so that he he kills like joe or something it's like the whole henry allen dying all over again mm. how would you guys feel if joe was the one that died by the end of the season I'd be a little upset. That I'd would be, be really sucked. upset. He'd probably have the most impact after Henry for me. Yeah. Because then he will really have lost all his parents. Do you guys have any other theories? Uh, oh, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Eddie's on set. Eddie's going to be back. Yeah. He's wearing a flash jacket. Yes. I like it. Yes. Oh, man. I had like a crazy theory that he, Barry was going to run back again, but this time he was going to make sure Iris and him never ended up together. So it's like butterfly effect. And then she ended up with Eddie, but then it opens up a whole new Season? set of problems. <laughs> yeah. So huh. basically he's going to do another flashpoint. <laughs> Like well, of course <laughs> dude yeah but this one would be different that'd be sick yeah. yeah he brought back the timeline right change that but instead of living with it he just keeps running oh he got stuck and he could turn into force. the future flash and then eddie can become freaking cobalt blue at some point sure yeah and then oh, ronnie raymond is also coming back yeah that's for sure so as firestorm i don't know but he, see this is the thing i thought he was gonna be a figment of their ma didn't he, uh, imagination didn't he tweet something out yeah he's coming back as one thing or the other yeah he said i might be dead or i might be not but he said that he also shared scenes with both caitlin and barry oh because when cisco wonked out right when he opened the box he was the only one that saw dante right yeah yeah see yeah when he opened the uh, savitar's box yeah 
Yeah. Or maybe Ronnie is somebody else. Maybe he might be freaking everyman. Maybe he might be a shapeshifter. We'll see. Gorilla City's coming up soon, too. Nice. I just, I can't wait to see all that. I can't wait to see Solovar and Gorilla Grodd. Yeah. Oh, they're going to have a teammate. A monkey teammate. Yes. That would be sick if they had him. Uh, that's too Solivar. much, too much <laughs> CGI. Oh, they got the budget, though. Uh, For sure, they got the budget. Yeah. So, we're, I'm kind of crossing the line here, but we'll go more into it, like, uh, when we get to Legends. Do you guys think that Black Flash will make his way back onto this show? Yes. Once Legend ends? Yes, I believe so. Do you think that it might be the Flash, Kid Flash, Cisco, Jay Garrick, Jesse Quick, Caitlin Snow, super spirit bomb type move at the end there to take huh. down uh, Savitar? Yeah. That'd be cool. Just you see all of them just running in a circle. Oh, but what if that's what happens? Like it's like Young Justice where you know they're running in a circle, but one of them gets left behind and Kid disappears. Flash. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> Who's the slowest one of them all? Uh Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it. Uh, Jesse Quick. Like Jesse? Yeah. Oh, God. She just <laughs> poof. And <then> Asia, uh, <laughs> Harry's just like, no. Nah! That would suck. Yeah. But I can't wait to see them come back because they're, they're going to eventually show up again. Yeah. You guys have any other theories? No. I just want Eddie to be Savitar. <laughs> <laughs> there's still a chance that he might be yeah there's still a chance there's a slight chance but then that would be crazy because that means he would have had to fall to the beginning of existence yeah found that stone i mean it became it, the very think thing about that it. That, that's a whole season and a half yeah and then he became that speedster yeah despite barry yeah and now he's being the crap out of him and he's about to kill his girl yeah that's some savage stuff right there. But final thoughts. I thought this episode was awesome. I definitely dig the whole switching up characters. Thing. Yeah, I like it. Because then it like sets up like future stuff where they could just make a big TV show and they could just focus on different characters. Superheroes yeah. every episode. Would you guys be down to see a show like that? Yeah. Dude, this whole week sh kind of showed that. Yes. I think they're like the, the to main see characters people. are kind of stepping back just a little bit. Letting the I dig it. side heroes take the stand. I dig it. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Um, uh, I like it. Anything else? Me want more. We all want more. I always want more. <laughs> So that wraps this part two. We'll see you guys for Legends of Tomorrow. All right, so let's talk about Legends of Tomorrow's episode. This week it was called The Legion of Doom. One sentence. Henchmen unite! <laughs> nice. Never call your daughter a time aberration. Yeah. That's probably not a good idea. Why are you? What? Rectal scan? <laughs> Rip is so, what do you call it? He's so funny as Phil. Again, this is another show that had the main characters in the back burner. Sort yeah, of, yeah. In, in, in a way. Do you guys like seeing it from the perspective this was of sick. the bad guys? Yes. Yes. It, I think it helps keep the perspective fresh. How do you guys like the Legion of Doom? Oh, well, like the three of them. There's supposed to be a, one other one. Oh, uh, yeah. They're like the three stooges. Yes. I like it. Yes. I, I, I like Malcolm yeah. as a character. But Damien, I don't know. He's a tough sell. Did you guys see that at all coming on their side of things? Which part? The t t him showing up. Oh. He must not be named. I did not. No. I did not know what to expect, really. I feel like that just changed the whole dynamic of the show, and it made so much more sense that they put it on Tuesday nights with The Flash. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw him? I don't recognize him, but I feel like I should. Hunters are the man. He called. Season. Remember, Barry got the time rates to f up, f him up. Yeah. Oh yeah. And now he's back. But that's not obviously that's not the same actor. He just yeah. CGI the crap out of him. But he looked fantastic. Yeah. And that scene was actually pretty terrifying. Even though you know Eobard's a bad guy. Yeah. I couldn't help but be nervous for him. He's just like, don't move. He's like. <laughs> And I cannot believe the Legion of Doom actually got away from death. Yeah, that's... Uh, he is the Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. <laughs> Grim yeah. Reaper. Reaper. That's uh, <laughs> kind of mind-boggling that two non-powered... Yeah, non-powered people yeah. for their villains. Well, except for Damien. Yeah. Oh, da well, Damien didn't have powers. Or doesn't have powers yet, does oh. he? Because the totems are destroyed. Oh, yes. Yes, so, that's true. Yeah. League of Assassins, though. They're smart. Very, oh, yeah. Very, they, yeah, they have that. Very, very talented. Yeah. Yeah, that was very surprising. But before we get back to that, the legends, 
How'd you guys just like them putting everything together this episode? Did you think that it was going to be Nate who kind of put it all together? Uh, no. Nate wouldn't have put it together, though. If, like, yeah. Martin didn't show up at just that exact moment. Yeah, that's Eobard true. Eobard Thawn. But yeah, that's still crazy that a historian could still piece that after just getting one yeah. single name. He's just like, what is And he's, he's an a historian. It's funny because he's a historian. He learns about the past. Yeah. But he figured the future because Eobard's from like centuries away. He's stepping up. Yeah. Stepping up on a big boy. Yeah. And I'm just thinking back to the first season. I guess Stein and Eobard never really got to know each other because he knew him as Wells the yes. whole time. So I, I just keep forgetting that like th- these people still retain the memories even though that they've been was well, that how it works, right? I think they so. Ha- they haven't been like warped by what's going on with Flashpoint. No, because they're traveling time too. I'm so confused. How long could you be out of phase with reality that before things start to like change huh. on this show? Because we saw that like someone like George Lucas, who was like the inspiration to Ray and Nate, drastically changed their characters when he didn't become a filmmaker. So That's interesting. What? But time is always in flux. I'm so confused with time, man. I, I don't get it. Where's Clarissa? That's what I want to know. <laughs> time will be like a, the water. It froze around the rocks, but never stay one place. One two <laughs> One press. <laughs> kind of confusing but it's still interesting i guess and the fact that they added him there it's gonna definitely shake things up how do you guys like stein's daughter being on board i like stein's daughter she's cute and smart yeah i find it hilarious that she sees all this stuff happening around her like she saw like the medallion put up the map or the compass and then she saw the wave rider but she couldn't believe her dad was part of a superhero yeah (laughs) who believes their dad's like genuine superhero yeah (laughs) my dad came to me and told me he wears a bat suit runs around saves like Gotham City I'd be like okay yeah sure did <laughs> how'd you feel though if your dad I mean, if it turns out that your dad really was a superhero I would lose my mind and demand to be taken as an apprentice <laughs> yeah exactly I'd ask to be a sidekick I think I would do the same thing too that'd be awesome just someone close to you is a superhero and they yeah. ask you to fight crime with them that's a dream justice <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much like the whole story between the two, right? They try to figure out who the hell Eobard was and why they're going after the spear. And then you got kind of the... I feel like it's not the whole reason. I feel like it's just part of the reason that Eobard wants to get the spear is to stop the Black Flash. Yeah. Because the spear can kill anything. Yeah. So if he gets his hands on that. But I think it's still bigger than that. But he said he wants to... Well, uh, Nate said that the yeah, main he purpose... can't just kill Black Flash. That wouldn't change anything. He has to bring e- uh, Eddie back. Back. Yeah. Yes. Alter time. Oh, That's he is Nate coming back too on the thing. Oh my god. Yeah. So maybe he's kind of the reason why Eddie shows up too. Yeah. That might be why. Yeah. And Ronnie. Yeah. Maybe. Oh no. I feel like it's something was gonna something bad's gonna happen. Going back to freaking Phil Gasmer. How'd you guys like him in this episode? He is hilarious, dude. Everything he does I don't is so. No, I don't fancy. like. I don't know. It's because he's he so oblivious. Me, but it's still rip. But he irks me. <laughs> he's so funny though. He's just so ditzy and clumsy and whatnot i like phil i'm gonna miss phil yeah i think he's gone for good yeah i think so too what happened after that i think they reprogrammed him right yeah yeah that's where he's there's a name for that thing a mnemonic yeah archive that's what they use on his brain and scramble his stuff up there and and retain his memories or something like that the mnemonic archive yeah what did it do i don't even know it's essentially a hard drive for his memories ah okay crazy so that means they access something that so he's already been that way because he went to 1776 yeah new jersey christmas day and he attacked general washington yeah so that means if he acted that way because of that thing he had no because what's his name that's what your changes yeah your bard was like Uh, playing around with it Okay. Before he put beep, it in. Beep, beep, beep. You're now Rex Tyler or whatever his name is. Ooh. Yeah. I think we talked about that in the first season. I called it. But I don't think he's going to. We talked about it in this season, actually. Yeah. High five. I don't think he's going to be what he call it. Be called Rex Hunter. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Actually, well, maybe. We'll see. Is this be some, like something cheesy? He's just going to say his name. Yo, and can you flash back to when I said that? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're gonna have to find. You're gonna find it. Yeah, I'll what find call it. That? If um, not, whatever. Just but, remember it happened like it yeah. was yesterday. Like it was yesterday. <laughs> like it was yesterday. Did we see anything else? That was, that was all. That was pretty much it, right? Yeah. Lily left okay because Stein said that he loved her no matter what. And he didn't mean to call an aberration. And I'm sorry, honey. You were actually an accident, but it's okay. <laughs> And I love how Rip was calling her stuff. He's like, I think you're an, uh, you're an abrasion. I mean, uh, asphyxiation. No, that's not the word. Aberration. 
<laughs> and she's like, what? And then Ray's like, good job, Mick. Now I gotta explain this. I like how they knew it was gonna be him. Yeah. yeah. Sarah being her badass self, along with Maya, they kind of just... Well, she had a lot to think about, I guess, this episode. They did get their butts handed to them the last one real quick by reverse flash yeah so i guess it's all about regrouping this episode and i do hope that they do the whole bad guy perspective again it's, it's cool and they're actually pretty funny too yeah damien and uh malcolm they had some pretty hilarious scenes together did you guys catch any easter eggs just the good bad and the ugly that's it yes the pictures of the other speedsters they had jesse wally trajectory just trying to figure out who that unnamed speedster was, Eobard. They put it on the wall. Cameos on every single show. Yeah. They're tying it in. That's awesome. The Legion of Doom, like the rivalry between members is base is, is very they, they kind of took inspiration from the comic books and the animated films. Because nice. there's there's always a power struggle there. So like it's interesting to see them like arguing with each other. Nice. Merlin, Malcolm, he's like, they didn't call me the magician for nothing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's all And I got. that rip may be Rex reprogram. Yeah. Did you get a preview? Hey, I can answer this one. I can answer this one. No, I did not. <laughs> all right. So next week's episode is called Turncoat. Oh, okay. So basically, we're going to see them in 1776. So yes. I don't even know what to like theorize. They're gonna Maybe he into- has another piece of the spear, George Washington. Ah, General Washington. General I always thought Washington. he was tiny as frick. Why is he huge in that trailer? I mean, no, no. And where's his wooden teeth? Oh, maybe that's what part of the spear is his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they got to take out yeah. every single one and fashion it into this a stick. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so they're probably going to see Rip there. Yeah. He, God, I feel like I saw a movie like this, like where they tr- try to chase after somebody and he just becomes different personalities each time. Oh. What is that like? There's Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, Leonardo. Jim Carrey, yeah. No. Is Jim it? Carrey. <laughs> no, that's not that's a different one. I was thinking Leonardo of Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. Is that the one where like he's... How'd you pull Jim Carrey? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was thinking of me, myself, and Irene. I don't know why. But yeah, I I know what you're talking about. That's the one with Tom Hanks, right? I believe so. Yeah. And they they mentioned Barry Allen in that movie. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. He used that as one of his aliases. Yeah, now I remember that movie. Nice. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to be going through for maybe a couple more episodes before the Black Flash becomes probably the bigger problem here yeah still want to see the gorilla grod thing happening i still want to see snart before the season starts drawing to a close because we got seven more episodes i believe yeah for the finale this is 10 yeah 17 yes yes so like we need to see him now if and when heatwave sees him do you guys think that he's going to go back to being a villain or do you guys think that mick will be strong enough to say no hmm Tough call. Because he really Very like tough call. He really changed a lot yeah. since he was first introduced on the Flash. I feel like he might. But that was die. because of Snart. Yeah, but I feel like he might die. Heat wave. Yeah, I feel like him and Maya might have to go. Yeah, but in the season, because once she once she avenges Rex, yeah, she's really got no place to go because everybody died or uh, Obsidian left and lived his life. Uh-huh. So we'll yeah, I think go. I think Snart is gonna like confuse him. Oh no! So he's gonna end up dying, so he doesn't choose a side because he can't choose a side. That sucks. Yeah, they're gonna be sad. You guys got any other theories? No, no, no. Hmm. Uh, no. But I think you might be right with the Spirit Destiny and Eddie and Ronnie. Yeah, I think that might have uh, yeah effect on why they come back. Yeah. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe Eddie comes back towards the end of that season. Yeah. Like, or towards the end of the Flash season because... And then that's how they get rid of the Black Flash because that's the reason why he's coming after Eobard. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting stuff. We also have to look forward to uh, Jay Garrick stopping by on Legends eventually. Nice. Because he's, he's going to be making an appearance. And maybe, hopefully, he's going to be there. Bart Allen won't be there. But Sweet. They yeah. can save that for another season if they want to. Yeah. You know they're going to. After the next version of Flashpoint, they're going to bust out on us. <laughs> Barry goes back in time to save Iris's dog or something stupid like that. <laughs> That's so crash. So crash. Where's that from? Young Justice. Uh, <laughs> who says that? That's what's his uh, name? Bar, uh, Bart Wally? Allen. Yeah, no, Bart. Oh, yeah, he does say that. Because he comes from the future. Yeah. There's every th- anytime something's cool, you say that, okay? Yeah. That's, that's so crash, yeah. bro. 
<laughs> Any other final th- I, th- I thought this freaking episode was fantastic. Yes. Probably the best one. I like the dynamic season. of the two sides. Yeah. Yeah, I like the I like the uh the villain centric episode. It was pretty cool. It's very nice. Keep Although going I still doing. don't like Damien Dark. <laughs> Still eh on him. He's just eh. He's not the same. Without his mysticism, he's just yeah. there. You guys think he might die at the end of the season? <laughs> I hope so. Here Irubar, yeah, Irubar just tosses him awesome. back. <laughs> back to the same scene where you get stabbed. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> now that changed everything back. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, that concludes this third part. We'll see you guys in Arrow. <laughs> so next, we're going to be talking about... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me start that again. Finally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we're going to roll into Arrow. This episode was called Second Chances. One sentence. Undercover Steve Bax... Ba- Basic? Baxic? Bakic? Bakic. <laughs> B-A-C-I-C. That Dinah Drake reveal. Oh, yeah. I was going to say pretty much the same thing along the lines. I was going to say Tina Bolden, a.k.a. Dinah Drake, a.k.a. Maybe Black Canary, a.k.a. A.k.a. What Royal Freshest Hotness, a.k.a. <laughs> the Scream Queen! <laughs> yes. Dude, um, I was completely wrong about that character. I know. She, I thought she was going to be one and done. She and that's does it. seem to fit the part. Like, even yeah. before the name reveal, the name drop. Yeah. So, you guys kind of heard it there at the beginning. We have Dinah Drake here. But first, she's introduced as Tina Bolin and Dude. a prospective candidate to pick up the Black Canary Mantle. Now, going into this episode, did you guys... Were you for this new character? Or, like, what did you guys feel initially? I was so excited for every part of it because I watched Andromeda religiously, and now we got, like, half the <laughs> cast of Andromeda on here. Nice. She looks nice, that's for sure. And uh, she's pretty badass. Yeah. yeah. Her first uh, impressions. But yeah, yeah. I didn't expect her to be a lot more than I thought she would be. Yeah, that's true. I thought <laughs> that's she was... super confusing. I, I honestly, going into this episode, I thought that they were going to, like... She was just the first of many people Candidates. that they're going to yeah. you know, go through. And I thought that's what leading up to the end of the season was going to be. Yeah. And then they're going to be like, oh, we didn't find one, so Black Siren. Here you go. Electrotherapy, and then yeah. you'll be good, you know. I don't like it. That means we have to give up on Laurel ever coming back. Exactly. I don't want that. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's wrap up Felicity's storyline real quick. Very is very short with Rory. So yeah, just kind of around to like, watch her, I guess. And the um, something sledgehammer. Something. Yeah, she met a fellow hacktivist while she was trying to get the files on General Walker, so that yeah. Diggle could be exonerated. Yes, she did. Then the files got taken, and she had to meet that young girl who told her about Helix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Project Helix or something like that. And she's like, you got you to come back and be a hacktivist like you were because a lot of people look up to you. So she's kind of getting into her not so good ways, but it's helping. So, I mean, if it's helping, I guess she's doing some good. What do you guys think? Classic sure. Felicity. Sure. Yeah. You like that? You like this Felicity? Aside from the one that we've been seeing for like the last two seasons. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Felicity's still Felicity. And I'd just love to see her go. Like, but <laughs> she's still there. I suppose if, if I had to put up with her, there's worse ways it could go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they're not going to kill her off, why not let her do some work? Yeah. Or be of some help. So you guys want her to earn her death? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, she already has, but... <laughs> You know, she's come close. Screw a few it, times. let's continue it. Go. Yeah. Then you got Renee, Oliver, and Curtis in Hub City trying to look for Tina, and she's a pretty tragic character. She has every reason to be mad. I like that she's uh, meta with that ability, and I like how they tied they tied in the meta into Arrow. So it's another kind of sort of cameo because like they've been kind of facing a more I don't even know what the hell to call Prometheus because he's like he's like on borderline supernatural and not he not he's a monster. Human. Yes. yes, he can we say that he's some. Thing. Yes. Yes. I yeah. That it kind of sold it. It was cool to see a meta again. Yeah. And Oliver like actually wanting to embrace someone like her onto the team because uh-huh. he knew that she would be a perfect fit for carrying on the mantle. I thought Oliver did like a cute. I like this optimistic Oliver. Like he's seeing the hope in everybody. He's like no longer like brooding. I'm gonna give them a chance, even though she might kill me. I'm gonna give her a chance. And they yeah. tried how many times to recruit her? Three. Yeah, I think three. And she almost killed. Uh, she almost killed them like every time. Yeah. Renee was just. Renee's starting to become like the comedic relief. I think. 
Yeah, starting to get a lot more goofy. He's, he's not as uh, hard as he was when he came to the team. I think Curtis is where he needs to be right now. Yeah. Like, it makes sense for him to be that tech support. Man than, in the van number two. Yeah. He made a good point that he's just been getting his ass whooped. Yeah. Why keep doing that when he can do something else for the team? Yeah. How do you guys just feel about the whole recruiting Tina? You guys like all that? Yeah. Yes. How happy are you guys that Diggle's free? Yeah. I want him to be back on the team, but he does need to take a bit of a break. He's all on bail. Spend he's- some time with his family. So his trial was like dismissed and everything like that yeah they found some nasty stuff on the general so cool what were you guys expecting her to say before she said that her real name was Dinah drake i thought she said can i join the team oh. that's it that's all i thought she was gonna ask did you guys even think that she was gonna come i didn't think team? she was gonna have another name uh yeah did you guys even think that she would come back and actually take the offer or ask for another chance? Yeah, I kind of expected that, but I didn't expect that reveal. I want to be happy because they did that and like it has meaning to it. But at the same time, I'm very, very sad because this kind of like cut away the last bit of hope that I had of Laurel returning to the role as Black Canary. Yeah. <sighs> but I think she's badass. So, I mean, she's obviously got to prove herself. But I think she's gonna. We might finally get the Green Arrow Black Canary team up that we've been wanting to see for the longest time. She's exactly how she should be. She can fight right off the bat. She knows yeah. how to use her powers in greater force, I guess. Yeah. I like I like this new Black Canary, but we'll see. Talia Agul. Plushback. How do you guys feel about her? She is sketchy. She has ties to Prometheus, I believe. Was she ever mentioned, Bears, in the earlier seasons at all or no? Nope. This is like the first time she's ever mentioned. She just showed up. Was Was there a different origin story as to how he got the hood or no? Or was it just never mentioned? No, he got the hood from his original mentor, who was an old guy. What's his name? The Yao Fei. Yao Fei, okay. Was it Yao Fei or Yao Yao something? Yeah, he was uh, was an elderly, not elderly, but like advanced age Asian dude who taught him how to shoot his bow and everything. And then he met Shad, uh, Shadow? Shadow? Shadow, yeah. Yeah. So this is before that. His timelines got me all messed up. Yeah, so... He got the outfit and then he lost the outfit and then Talia brought it back to him or what? I'm yeah, Yalfe passed it on to him uh-huh. then got deaded. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure that was when he was fighting the army that was on the island. And then I'm guessing he lost the suit or the, the hood when he got or when he left the island to go to Russia. Uh, Not lost, but maybe left it behind. Yeah. Did Yalfe yeah. have a son? Not as far as I know. He, if he did, he never mentioned it, I don't think. Could Shadow have... Wait, Shadow is... Was he Yalfe's... Were they related at all or no? Were they? I don't even... I can't remember. Was Yalfe her father? Did someone look this up? It's eating away at my brain. Yeah, Yalfe. Yes, Shadow. daughter is May and Shadow. Okay, May is the, the twin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What if... Yeah, what if... What do you call that? Is he had a son or something? We did... What's his name? Son die, right? It's five years ago, right? All this stuff that happened. 2012. So... Uh, sounds about right. I'm trying to think of who the hell this... Prom- uh, we'll theorize about that later. Yeah, you guys like Talia so far? From uh, I'm a huge fan of Alexa Dog. Yeah. Doig. So, yes. So, from what I understand, she's helping Oliver take out Kovar's associates, right? Just all the while trying to train him to become the hood. This is going to be the last flashbacks we're going to get on the show, so hopefully it really like ties in everything nicely. Now, well, I hope so. So there's no more years. Yeah. <laughs> what if he adds one more thing like next season is just like he has a memory. flashback to his first year. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, right? Everyone's all happy happy. Yeah. Especially him because she said that, that name. Easter eggs. Dinah Drake? Is that an Easter egg? Yes. Yeah. She is She's the, the original Black Canary in the comics who is yeah. married to Quentin Lance. Quentin or Larry Lance. Uh, yeah. Comic counterpart. Book counterpart. Yeah. What did I write there? Allison what? Oh, I checked those names. Allison Slater and Tara Michelle. They're nothing. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> they're nothing. Astronaut Ninja. Helix. Costume Hut. Costume. <laughs> Slide. I'm just writing. I'm just saying names are wrote down on here. I don't know why. Did you talk about Sonus? The, v- oh, like the yeah. small villain? Yeah, he is. He is a Green Arrow and Black Canary villain. So that's that's a iconic person. Yeah. His name in comic books is the very program we're using to talk to you bears. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But I don't think they ever. Someone in the comments is just like, what? Skype? <laughs> 
the other thing, dude. The other. Th- we will thumbs up the comment that gets it right as to what program we're using right now. To yeah. Talk to, to bears. You guys get that right. That's the name of the bad guy that was in this episode. How'd you guys like him? Eh, it's pretty cool. It looked like a uh, vertigo. Yeah, I thought the that's power. what it was. I didn't think that it was him disrupting sonic waves. Yeah. What's the name of Smart? I, mean, I like Curtis. his ability. Yeah. Like I like the character. I like the guy. Yeah. The actor, Steve Bassick, or Bass Bassick. So uh, I, I enjoyed everything he did. Felix. Yes. It's super villain group. Yeah. Yeah. In the comics. And I saw that. And then the Helix commissions where it was something to do with inhumane, like brain stuff. Oh, like psychic. Like monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Secret genetics brotherhood. There you go. So it could be a bunch of things. Helix. Huh. I like it. I, yeah. li- I like that one. And I like the, the t- I saw that the team had like a skull dude on it. Right. Yeah. And it had a girl that looked like the girl that was that Felicity met with, with the uh, glasses. Yeah. Dude. That was messed up. It was like seeing a young Felicity all over again. She's, she's going down a dark road. Dangerous road. Did you guys see a, th- a theory? I mean, theory. Freaking preview. There's a thing that happens with a, uh, some arrows get shot. I think. I, yeah, I remember seeing that. Yes, um, that is true. The canary does the the, the ah thing. Is uh, <laughs> Renee does the the grimace with the the guns and the the hockey mask and the pew, pew, pew. <laughs> and uh, yeah. You know, you're actually really not that far off from what actually happened. <laughs> that's pretty much what that's happened. all the action scenes. Yeah, um, that's exactly what the, happened. You know, with the throne in- was Diggle and Anatoly. Yes. He is back. They're, they're in Bratva. Yeah. Would, That's going, the episode name. They're in Russia going to talk to the Bratva. Yeah. Because they feel that Prometheus is tied to them somehow. Yeah. And I think Ragman goes with them. And I think, like I said, Diggle does too. And Dinah's wearing some sort of bomb on herself or something like that. Huh. I think. Or not a bomb. She's wearing a wire or something. For a bomb. Yeah. You guys have any theories? Can we all agree that she, she will be awesome as a Black Canary? Yeah. You yeah. guys You guys don't think I'm, that... I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm down to give her a chance. The Laurel Lance uh, Black Saren, you don't think that's still going to happen? No, cause because Google always does this. Diana Drake is the original Black Canary, but mm-hmm. like you're saying, in the comics, she's married to larry lands so that love interest thing could be could still be a thing but oliver could also still be with laurel because you said she came from earth too mm-hmm. his love interest yeah yeah so that could still happen she's, I, she's not gonna be black canary but she's just gonna be black siren just reformed i am so optimistic about that theory but the problem is the writers googleheim just doesn't <laughs> want us to have that he doesn't ah, want us okay. to be happy he doesn't want us to have all right the the black canary arrow yeah. thing so he wrote in a totally awesome character yeah. she's awesome so it's not like we have a problem with it it's just that that's always going to linger on every time we think of the black canary or laura lance it obviously it's going to be her because she's right there she's not dead she's just there yeah i mean if she's not going to become the black canary down the line she might as well just be a recurring villain for black canary that we have now with dinah Mm, okay so i respect All the right. fact that they actually changed the character to have that sort of backstory yeah gives it some sort of like depth and meaning yeah. whereas they did just throw imagine if none of that happened to tina she was just like like that for no reason and then they just slapped on dinah drake i don't think it would have the same effect if she didn't have that sort of backstory i guess the only thing that we can theorize now is who you guys think prometheus is i think after oliver said that in the flashback mm-hmm. the he is a monster and talia said you can be someone else something else yeah and she said you need to create something something like i that. feel like he is oliver is prometheus, prometheus. Yeah, some version of him. Yes, I think that they totally gonna like take that s- the Batman narrative. Where yeah, because Prometheus, Prometheus in the comics is just a Damian twisted Wayne. version. Yeah, he's a twisted version of Batman. After Damian Wayne didn't go through with taking the mantle of Raz Agul, yeah, or Ra's Agul, however they pronounce it here, she takes Bruce's DNA and basically grows another damien in like a day and he becomes like a full grown man and then he becomes prometheus yeah i mean it's not like super out there is it i don't think so not for the uh, the flare overs <laughs> yeah what if what if it is just like ollie i'm sticking by it yeah because he re- he said that uh he read the script for that episode and he was caught off guard yeah it's so. like it's like your 
Prometheus. Yeah. I think we should end the theories right there because it's like that's that's a really good theory. Now, so that or how do I, how do I even outro this? Uh, the hashtags like that. Uh huh. Uh, like that. <laughs> All right, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> so as we round this out, we're going to do the hashtags for all these episodes. But before that, which one was your favorite for the week? Oh, we're actually doing it? Yes, we're doing it. Ooh. Which episode favorite. was your favorite? Episode of the week. It's a toss up. It's got to it's gotta be Arrow for me. Yeah. Oliver was, Queen is my homie. I was saying either I, I, I would always go with Supergirl or Flash, but mm-hmm. this week it's either Arrow or Legends. They're very, their stories were very impactful, especially with the reveals. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say with, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with Legends. Legends? Yeah. Oh, the Black Flash versus the new Black Canary. See, that's hard. Yeah. I do love the Black Canary, but I will have to go with Legends too. That The Black Flash was just like, whoa. Yeah. But so is what do you call that. And the Legion of Doom. There, I should have picked, like, which two up that. <laughs> it's, okay. hard, it's very hard well, so hashtags one hashtag for each show all right i'll we'll um, start with supergirl yeah supergirl oh we should just do like a collective hashtag like that for each yeah. show okay. okay so ready for supergirl all right hashtag fly martian friendship this- damn it I don't know. Friendship. Yeah, friendship. So Fly what is Martian it? friendship. Fly Martian friendship. <laughs> nice. For the Flash. I guess that's me now. Go for it. Hashtag vibe. Speed. Coffee. <laughs> nice. Hashtag vibe speed coffee. Legends. Hashtag aberration. Death. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hashtag aberration. Death three. And arrow. This one me. I, I think it's back to me. It's back to you. Okay. Yeah. Hashtag Dinah. Sonic. Oh, that was my word. Oh, that was actually that? my word. <laughs> I think it was your turn. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Exonerated. Nice. Nice. Dinah. Sonic. Exonerated. <laughs> <laughs> exonerated. Yeah. <laughs> Say one more time, just so it's like Dinah. Sonic. Exonerated. Yeah. So with that being said, you guys, go leave the hashtags down below. And we hope you guys enjoyed this big Justice Clubhouse Sorry. podcast. Also hashtag that, yes. Hashtag the Justice Clubhouse podcast. Yeah. And hashtag Flashback Friday, because basically that's what we're doing. It's going to be posted sure. on Fridays, basically flashing sure. back the week. If you guys, you know, enjoy these, we're going to keep doing them. And we thank you for hashtag the support. DC TV. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. What? It's another one. Yes. Oh, hashtag DC okay. TV week. Cool. Yeah, thank you guys for supporting us here. Thank you for supporting us on Bear's channel. Please go check him out. We're going to be doing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on there. That's always fun. But you already did me. <laughs> yeah, you oh. did it for him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bear's, you can do that and then but, we'll just cut our, our part out. So, do you want me to just go with it? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Re- yeah. Okay. Don't forget to check me out on my channel, Kodiak207, where we do Marvel things, namely Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Be sure to check that out. It's pretty awesome. Be sure to check out our creator's code as well as social links down below. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank we'll you. see you in the next one. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.